Is a hot glue gun a makeup tool? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Putting on makeup is kind of like doing crafts on your face. Yeah. And just like doing crafts, it's supposed to make you feel better. And if you're bad at it, you end up stressed out, covered in glue and macaroni, and wondering how glitter got in your underwear. So today, we're gonna double down on how hard it is to be beautiful with a craft store makeup challenge. And of course, the beauty gurus out there have attempted this challenge, but we're gonna try and take it to the next level. It's time for, can these two old farts be made up with craft store arts? We've asked Mythical Crew members Ellie and Jordan to go to a local craft store to find some crafty beauty hacks. Each round we're gonna try out a hack that they've attempted to invent and then we'll determine if it works and declare crafty or crappy. Let's see the first challenge. Hello, we're back with another beauty hack challenge, uh, but this time we're in a craft store. Now this has existed before we didn't invent this. This is GMM, so our version has to be uh, dangerous and stupid. So the first thing I feel like we need to figure out is what we're gonna do for their foundation. Right, right. And it's the foundation of this piece. Yes. When people are really good at makeup, mm -hmm. they look like they've been airbrushed. I was thinking we could maybe just go straight to an actual airbrush paint gun. Is that safe? God no. Hard to say. Airbrushes have specific paint, but I figure if we just water down kids paint, it'll work just as well. That's great reasoning. That may be like non-toxic like health wise, but like beauty wise, that's that's toxic. <laughs> okay, Rhett and Link, we challenge you to use a craft store airbrush and kids non-toxic paint to spray each other's faces for foundation. Whoa. Hey, thank oh. you for all your, your work and your research. Yeah. Who was that who was that person? An employee? I don't know, I think she's an art major. Yeah, craft enthusiast. <laughs> art okay. major. Okay, not, not a safety. store owner, I would guess. <laughs> well, who knows? So, we, so we've got paints here. You've got some paints over there. Bring those in, right? Yeah, so and, um, we, we have we want a flesh tone. Blue? No. Uh, Purple face? Well, Sometimes. Well, they've already loaded up pink here because I think the only thing that we could find that was close to a flesh tone was pink, and then we've got some orange. Okay. Uh, so uh, pink's in there right now, so that's what you're going to be. <laughs> Uh, I should take my glasses off. Yeah, so I'm gonna turn this on. Oh, uh, you should probably you should probably hold that because any man who's being who's having his face Ooh. sprayed should be holding a vibrating uh, compressor, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm trying to keep it out of orify. Just keep that closed, uh, but, but relax the face, right? Ooh, is it? Here it comes. Ooh, it's cold. Oh, oh, it's nice. It smells like an elementary school. Nice even tone. Oh, this is really, really nice. Hold on, I gotta take a breath, hold on. Okay, okay, go again. You look great. It's gonna go, I'm going, I'm blending the lips in, I'm just going right over the lips. Turn towards me a little bit. Your ear needs it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Real nice. Okay, I feel <sighs> I feel pretty feel pretty good at that. <laughs> About that, it looks like you may have broke out. I look sunburnt, kind of. It, it's not as pink in here. You want to change it out for orange and let me yep. go? Oop. Yeah, man. There we go. You you can also breathe. It's it's not gonna kill you. Oh, it's not gonna kill you to breathe this stuff in. Yeah, no. Because what? You've been breathing it in, and you're fine. It's not toxic. It's children's pain, man. It's not toxic on your skin, but like in your lungs forever. I would hold your breath if I were you. Okay, so you pull, you, you uh, turn that back turn on. Back I'll hold on. it. <laughs> Come on, baby, kick up, do it, start. Come on, you can do it. Is this normal? It's got to go into high mode. There we go. Okay. okay. I mean, this is like spray tan situation. Oh yeah. Turn to your left a little bit. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Uh, no, that is my left. Oh yeah. You getting orange, man. Oh yeah. Nice and even. It feels nice, I like it. This nice is and even It's tone. refreshing. What are you shaking for? Because you're like doing it up my actual nostril. Okay, turn back towards me. Look at, oh wow. Yeah. Wow. 
It's both looking good. Well, the orange really flows, doesn't it? This the, is what they the, call foundation. Do you want me to hit you up with some orange? Because it, it really, it's, it's a lot thicker than the pink. Give me some orange highlights. Those highlights? You could contour and highlight, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna contour, so I'm right down the middle. Why are you going right down the middle? Like, that, make my cheekbones pop. Yeah, and I'm making... Oh. Turn. Okay. Oh. Well, well, hold on. This is just foundation. I don't know what you're doing. I'm making you look great. Okay. How's this? <laughs> All right. This is what they call foundation. Jordan? Yes. There's nothing more important in this life than bold brows. Nothing. Not family, religion, civic pride. Brows, brows are most important. Every other day you see a new brow trend and one of those was brow extensions, which is when people would pay like $100 for like 10 days of extra brow hair being added to their brows. I think we can beat that. And I was thinking doll hair, and cut it up, take a glue stick, cover their brows in it and smack it on. Yes, and instead of costing $100, It'll just cost a hundred doll hairs. Oh my god. Okay, Rhett and Link, we challenge you to make your brows bold and beautiful by cutting up doll hairs and sticking it on with a glue stick. It's gonna look so cute. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look, you, you got my color. Thank you. All right. Yeah. I, I uh, hope you get that job in the uh, Willy Wonka reboot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're all I'm, pulling for I'm you. I'm so big. <laughs> That's the thing that's going against me, but. This is, it looks like little black slinkies, man. Yeah. I'm Does gonna, doll hair end? I'm gonna do like a grab and chop. Oh yeah, I'm oh, gonna. Doll hair goes on forever. So I'm I'm trying to make pieces that are I can just glue to my facial region. Is this why most dolls have curly hair? Is there a way to take the curl out? I couldn't have told you that most dolls have curly hair. Most I didn't of the know. dolls that I've played with do. <laughs> I only play with dolls with curly hair. Does it have curly hair, mom? Because if it doesn't, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> wow. It's amazing how it begins to expand. You could probably wig a number of dolls with just one little pack here. All right, I'm going in with the glue. I'm gonna go, oh gosh. I'm putting the glue right on the brows. It's purple. I'm not thinking about the cleanup process at all at this point. Speaking of, wow. of Willy Wonka, I mean, that's <laughs> the Oompa Loompa. I'm really turning into an Oompa Loompa over here, unintentionally. Okay. And my face, is my face turning purple? I hope so. So I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna try some, some brow, oh this, this glue is working good. Oh look, and I've got a little curl hanging. <laughs> See, I, I've found that the best technique, as I've done this for a few seconds, is just to jam as much on there as possible, and then I'm just gonna trim it right off my face with a sharp object. I've always wanted curly brows. <laughs> That's very dainty. Mine's a little bulky. I gotta, I gotta thin this out a little bit. Yours is maybe a little over the top. I think mine is nice and subtle. And you know, the, when you first see me, you're like, is there something different about his eyebrows? And then when you get closer, you're like, oh yeah, his eyebrows are bushier than normal. And his right eyebrow com completely covers his eye. Oh. But look at this. See, I'm giving myself a little shearing. Be careful, Link. I'm afraid you're gonna cut off your own eyelashes. <laughs> Don't stop him. I think this is pretty great. How do I look? I think you need a trim right there. It's coming down over your eyes. I want to see those. I like oh, it. Yeah. It's mysterious. I think it'll probably fall throughout the rest of this uh, episode, so I'm just gonna just leave it in full bulk form right now. Okay, I'm feeling pretty great. I got, I got a little accoutrement right there. Yeah, you're getting better looking by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jordan, we just used a glue stick for the brows. What else does glue stick remind you okay, of? Okay, uh, kindergarten. Um, no, like in the beauty world. Like oh, right. glue, okay. stick, glue stick, like. Back to school, back to school shopping. Glue stick is like lipstick. And then you can oh. just shove glue stick on your lips, but what should we stick to it? Be. So many beads. Good harmony there too. Beads. beads. Don't swallow them. I think you probably swallow a couple and it'll be fine. You could swallow a few. You can pass like a full wedding ring you through could, your yeah, system. Yeah, you could pass some beads. In addition to beads, there's 
other stuff we could stick to their lips mm -hmm. found in this mm -hmm. particular craft mm -hmm. store. Mm -hmm. It's a surprise. Oh, mm. there's, a su there's beads and a surprise. Bring in the beads and the glue stick. Um, so I have a different idea for you. Why don't you come with me and only take a second. All right. All right, glue stick it up. Yeah, tongue, tongue it. Tongue the beads. How do I look? Uh, yeah, I mean. I feel incredible. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Ellie hooked me up with some miniaturized scene stuff on my face. You have a sky for a top lip and a- With a cloud. That's not herpes. <laughs> you have a nice park scene with a tree and a happy couple sitting there on your bottom lip. And look, it's an earthquake. Oh. <laughs> Earthquake. Link, it would be rad if a model train came out of your mouth right now. <laughs> there it is. Oh gosh, the yeah. tongue train. Oh, no. All aboard the tongue train. Oh no, oh, please, we're good I ever said that. If you want to get hot, the last step to getting hot is to use a hot glue gun. Oh, okay, that's a fun pun. So we're gonna stick oil pastels through the hot glue gun tube, melt them, squirt them out, use them as a cream blush and eyeshadow. That's a good idea. I feel like that probably won't work. <laughs> probably have a lasting effect of maybe a little red because of the uh, burning. No fam. <laughs> okay, Rhett and Link, we challenge you to put on a cream blush and eyeshadow using only a hot glue gun and oil pastels. Hope you like ouchies. Yay! And that guy in the this middle- This is gonna work! He didn't really seem like your craft store type. He's, you know, he's defying expectations. No, he's he was like a really hot art school teacher. Oh, oh, oh thanks, Ellie. <laughs> but, oh. I just, what, you didn't- like, I didn't on. get that vibe, but okay. Now, the thing that I thought was most insightful was no fam. I think that applies to this entire uh, yeah, episode. Uh -huh. So we've got crayons. Is that what these are? Oil pastels. Did I get oil pastel. Oil pastel. I need to. I need to add some color to my cheeks. Okay. So I'm gonna go with the pink. I'm gonna try to brighten up my my deep deeply set eyeballs with some sky blue. Look at that. It. I mean, it's amazing how it perfectly fits in this glue gun. Thank you. It's like it was Jordan made for and Ellie. It. Jordan thought it was a bad idea. This is all me. <laughs> Ellie and Ellie. Jordan was also there. Oh, there it is. Now. Ooh, no. Woo. Woo. Yeah, Link. yeah, don't touch it right away. Woo, that's hot. Like it's a hot glue gun. I mean, I didn't. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's, that's a good temperature. Oh, there we go. Oh. Woo. Don't, don't touch it right away. If you get it at the right temperature, it's kind of soothing. Oh, look. Ooh. Ooh, look, look at me, look at us. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I need to I need to blue some bag action too, you know, cover up the bags. Oh, with the blue? Okay. I feel like I'm really missing that eyeshadow. Can I come in and steal a little? Yeah, right, you could give yourself a cut crease. What does that mean? It's like a fancy makeup term where you uh, you go into the crease of your eyes and it makes your eyes pop. Speaking of eyes pop, <laughs> bam. <laughs> How's that? I think you guys look like what Johnny Depp thinks he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. I mean, put me on the Hunger Games, right? May the odds always be forever in your favor. Well, I don't know exactly what we've created here, uh, and I don't know if it's a new trend, but I know it made my day a little bit better. Woo-hoo! Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Leah, and I'm Shiloh. And this is Biff. We're in Orange County, California. We're in our Retin Lake March and bubble face masks. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Are you still Barbara? Woo, it does look like your dog. Click the top link to watch us make our own Sims characters with Jordan and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. So many mythical badges, so little time. Collect them all at mythical.store.